Okay, so the cat painting take two. Um, so I'll just do the first bit as a drawing and sort of filling in, modelling it with light and shade. I'm going to do it with a brush. So I'm going to use this very fine round brush. I'm going to sketch it out with raw sienna. I'll just pop that there. I can work from that. So I just make up a, quite a big puddle of raw sienna. So about that much. Fairly weak because obviously I can't rub out. So if it's weak, it, they won't, the marks won't be seen as much when we've finished. But they will add to the painting, the, the little drawing, thinking drawing at the beginning will add something to your painting. Okay, so just looking at really simple basic shapes. Just looking at things in relation to where they are with the rest of, of the head and just judging where things should be. So a guideline, imaginary guidelines. Just put that in, that's the, like a, the markings on the coat, that's just like a spectacle marking that these type of cats have. Just, it just helps me with the relationship of where sort of, the mouth is there. Okay, so I've got for a bigger brush now, so something like that. You've seen me use that a million times, so um, that'll just help me now with the same colour. Just block in. So I think I can get a feel for it in sort of three dimensions rather than just a line drawing there. So I'm getting rid of that mark now because I know it, I know where it is and I'm just going to take that colour with a bit of water just sort of blend it so that it's next to nothing really there. So 
so inside the ear as well a bit of colour it's all really pale so when I put the the sort of local colour over the top this colour will just add a bit of warmth to it good what I might do now I might grab um, some ultramarine so nice blue colour tiny bit of crimson in it and a tiny bit of yellow ochre so it's a grey colour let's test it it's a bit purpley that so if I add a bit more yellow to that and just see if I can find that little shadow shape there so there's a bit of a very delicate shadow on the side of his nose there Soften the edges a bit and let it join. And there's a bit, because this part of its coat is white, so the shaded bits I'm putting on are like a blue grey colour. Take a bit off there. So I'm looking at the original paint, there's a little bit of lightness there. So if I just dab that off, just repair that a little bit. That's alright. And then in the ear, so I'm going to the I'm going for a bit of crimson with yellow ochre. And then as it comes down, I'm just adding a bit of blue to that mixture there. And then just push it, so I push it together that colour. And then because you've got like little hairs going that way, I can just soften that edge like that. I've got quite a dark in there. Good. Bit more crimson. Okay, so if I get that crimson colour again, so I'm going to put the nose colour on. Well, yeah, the, the, the end of his nose. So that's just crimson with a bit of yellow ochre and a little dirt down. And then later on, a little dark little shard of colour to show the nostril okay so I'm gonna go now I'm gonna change the colour to still an umber but I'm gonna go for burnt umber so burnt umber with ultramarine So that it's a bluey brown colour. I'm just going to put a dark colour on the back of its ear there. It's a bit pale, I'm going to be a bit paler and a bit warmer. So it's going to burn blue and burnt umber, then burnt umber, and then a bit 
of crimson in the mixture there just to warm that up a little bit white there as well the coat so just soften that so we don't get too strong of a colour there and then going back to a darker mixture there like a bluey brown colour and then some warmth in it again that bit and I'll just carry on there. So I'm going to make that burnt umber colour with blue. Just looking at the time, I'm going to make it so it's like about 12 minutes in, in this part. So I'm just trying to get this, this marking on the top of its, its temple there. So just little strokes like that and then Down. So just adjusting these marks because it's like little sparky hairs there on its temple. And then that'll do for that bit, I think, yeah. Turn that up. And then again, burnt umber with a bit of blue in it. darkness there and then on top of that I'm going to put some yellow ochre I'm going back to crimson so on the just inside the eye there a bit of crimson and that will flood down into that bit there That's quite dirt behind that ear there, so I'll, put, I'll whack that in there. And then same as before.
Okay, so that'll do for the first bit, then the videos are not too long. And then I'll catch up with the next bit and we'll try and finish it off in that one.